Gemini 3 is here and it is already beating Grok 4.1 and ChatGPT 5.1. So let's push it with some insane real world tests. First thing first, you can access it on GeminiGoogle.com app or in AI Studio. You can try all of the things for free or you can buy plus subscription for only a couple of dollars monthly. So let's try out first example. So with simple prompt, let's try to create kind of a Photoshop replica. When you are doing that, always make sure to click here on thinking. This will use Gemini 3 and it would be good to also include canvas so that you see what is happening in the background. So let's click there and this is what we received. So let's try for example here brush, color black, size like this, works, let's increase size, works, that's great, undo, undo, then let's import image for example, let's import this one, cathedral, so let's blur it out, works, undo, for example, grayscale, that also works, invert, pretty, pretty good. You can even add layers, increase or decrease opacity, everything is here, eraser also, everything works, so, I mean, this is pretty amazing, I received this in a matter of maybe a minute. So then the other interesting example is, for example, creating a beautiful 3D visualization of the difference in scale between a subatomic particle and atom DNA and at the end at the galaxy. So let's click also to submit here. And this is what we received in matter of minutes. So here is the default. This is the human scale beach ball, one meter diameter. Let's go to the end or to the beginning, let's say. So subatomic particle, and let's slowly increase this. This is subatomic. Nice then dragging this now we are getting to hydrogen atom pretty nice then dna strand increasing still this is still in nanometers then virus <laughs> look at how this is good amazing now increasing 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 then we have our beach ball then increasing planet earth here it is then we'll have the sun then solar system nice and then we'll get to the probably to the whole milky way and here it is i mean this is amazing and then you can always click on this little thing here add gemini features and you don't know what will happen there gemini will add additional features for you so let's click there so Gemini decided that it will add AI warp drive, a natural language search bar. You can type anything from a red blood cell to the size of Texas. Let's see, it will add that. Then cosmic insight, a button in the info panel. Click it to ask Gemini fascinating deep. Let's see if it will add that live now into this app. So it did something. Let's see, for example, let's here search for DNA. Amazing. Everything works and it transitioned to the DNA. Exactly. Now let's build an app where we can directly upload an image and recognize the location. So first what happened after I tried this, it wanted to create an app just recognizing metadata from the, you know, image. So XFJS and every, all of those. This is not really something that is good for me. So then I said the app should work based on recognizing location from the image, not based on the image location metadata. And then it created this. So it uses basically AI to recognize the whole image. And then based on that, it will create and pinpoint location. So for example, let's use this cathedral. This should be easy. And now AI is analyzing the scene, identifying landmarks, signs and terrain. So all of that was added. And voila, here it is. So pinpointed here, Duomo di Milano, Milan Cathedral. The image features the highly recognizable white marble facade, characteristic spires and gothic architecture of the Milan Cathedral in Italy. Latitude, longitude, and then open Google Maps and everything works perfectly. We are exactly here. But I would say this is an easy example. This is a really famous landmark. Let's try something not so. So for example, let's upload this image. So this is not so famous image. It's a street in Croatia, in the city of Zagreb, and it recognizes the following. So the image features a blue TMK 2020 trams, amazing, which are exclusive to the city, and signage Salon Torbica Ante Kastanic written in Croatian, confirming the location of Zagreb main shopping street, Ilica. Really, really works great. I mean, we have already application here in a matter of minutes. Now this ought to be interesting. So let's create a clone on the Windows 95 desktop. So let's use original wallpaper. On the desktop there should be MS Word, Paint, Calculator, Internet Explorer, Minesweeper and Solitaire. Each program should work. And this is what we received. I mean, this is completely amazing. So let's try. This is the desktop of 95. Yes, here is Word. <laughs> let's see. 
Nice, this works. Even the keyboard shortcuts work, so this is bold. This is now underlined, everything works. Okay, paint, here it is. Nice, clear. Yes, this also works. Calculator, 2 plus 5 equals 7, it does. Internet Explorer, oh, this brings some memories. So here is web tutorial, only search, everything is there. Download Netscape, wait, don't. <laughs> Minesweeper, let's try. Good one. Oh, nice and solitaire. Everything is here. This is amazing. So it recreated complete Windows 95 desktop in probably 30 seconds, something like that. So then let me upload this really, really hard to read and boring document, basically Alphabet or Google financial statement. You see many data here that uh, most people will not understand. So let's upload that. And based on this financial report, create a full interactive dashboard with relevant financial data slider. I'll also include AI summaries and potential AI stock price prediction based on the financial data. So let's see that. And here is our final dashboard. It looks pretty good. So here we have total revenue, net income, cloud revenue, diluted EPS. Everything is here. Everything works. Hovering. Yes segments here we have all of that also and then simulation this is kind of a ai financial simulator so based on the revenue growth rate operating margin you see implied stock price will change so that's pretty pretty interesting a couple of more iteration we could really do that uh, as a complete financial prediction app so executive summary alphabet delivered a robust quarter with 14 revenue growth Pretty, pretty good. Profitability, risk, capital allocation, everything is there. Then let's try to recreate a GTA style, GTA 1 style game and see what we get. So here is the game. Let's start moving. Here we are. Nice. Let's try to enter the car. We missed this one. Nice. We can do everything here. We can destroy the cars, drive the cars. Pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, full GTA until we wait for GTA 6. But then I also wanted to create kind of a GTA 3 style game, kind of a 3D. So we received this, pretty interesting. Here is one guy. Let's run to him and then let's start talking. We can do that also. Talk. What will happen here? My shoes are full of bees. <laughs> let's try again. You smell like old pennies. <laughs> Who came up with this dialogue, really? I'm allergic to small talk. Pretty, pretty nice. And then we can also enter the car. Drive the car. Honk. Or for example, toggle phone. So welcome to network. Remember this. Call the fixer. Here is the fixer. Contacting the fixer. Benny the fence got loose lips and is hiding nice. in the old meat packing plant. Put him down, grab the ledger, and make sure the goods stay private. This brings memories. Yeah. So now let's try some, for example, math or theorem problems. So the four color theorem states that any map can be colored with no more than four colors, such that no two adjacent regions have the same color. So let's solve this with Gemini. So this was the prompt, create a single HTML app that shows a blank SVG map of the USA, then apply four color theorem, and the page must have two buttons, apply theorem, reset, make it clean, simple, and we got this. So this is the blank USA map. Nice. Then let's apply the theorem. And it really did. You see, all of the United States is now colored with four different colors and no together or no adjacent colors of simple states. So no touching of the colors. And this is basically a theorem. You can create any map with as many different touching points and colors will always be different. Pretty good. What would happen if we add Gemini features here? Let's see what will Gemini think of it. So now Google on the fly added themed coloring. So you can now type any theme. State trivia, clicking on a step of the map to learn surprising unique fact and explaining the theorem. So let's try. So for example, let's click here. This is fact about Colorado. Pretty nice. Let's try the coloring, for example, forest. Forest, nice. And here it is. All of the states in the type of kind of a forest and gravel. 
pretty nice. And if we click on explain logic, the four quarter theorem states that you only need pretty nice. Historical fact, the theorem was the first major mathematical proof to rely entirely on the computer, which checked thousands of individual map configurations. Oh my god, where have we came from that? Now let's try a traffic simulation. So let's reset the grid. Let's traffic density. Okay, here we have green, green. They are going, oh, this one is red. Pretty good. Red, red, working perfectly. So traffic lights, turn logic. Let's increase traffic density, simulation speed. Nice. Everything works as I see, completely nice. Flipping lights, great. Then the similar things with the bees. So let's increase the colony size here. Then they will fill here. Okay, let's, nice. They are doing their thing here. Yes. Here we have wax, honey, everything. I think this works pretty, pretty nice. Look how they build. Nice little simulation. Then I wanted to upload my own image, an image of a Super Mario arcade, and then just say to put my rounded face head as a second attached image of myself to the main character and create a whole game. So this is what we got. So I can upload any face now. So I uploaded my face. Here it is. Let's start the game. Nice. Here I am. Let's jump. Nice. Here. Let's try this. Ah, try again, game over. Pretty good. Let's see what, for example, Gemini will add here. Add Gemini features. So now Gemini added a level generator. On the start screen, you can now describe the kind of level you want. AG, impossible level, peaceful level, and then second AI gem over commentary. When you die, Gemini analyzes your score and how you died and give your personal, often snarky, game over message. So let's start. Here is my face, AI level. La, lots of... Lots of pipes and coins. Let's see what will happen here. Generate. Oh, nice. It's a completely different level now. Pretty easy. Let's jump. Nice. Yes, this it's almost impossible to die here. <laughs> Let's die here with this guy. Analyze the fail. Hit by one Goomba. Your legacy will be questioned. So this is this part. AI game over commentary. Really, really nice. Now one practical example, so I uploaded this image here of the floor plan and just wrote down make this floor plan interactive. And first it failed because it was a bad image, then we regenerated the app so I can always upload specific floor plan image. So let's do that. So here is the floor plan and we can do everything. So it is interesting. So let's see, double garage, 40, 50 square meters, spacious to guard garage, guest suite, closed kitchen. It really is interactive living and dining area, square meters, everything works. Pretty nice. Similar example, let's try to solve every maze. I just upload one maze and said create an app so that it will solve every maze. So here we have maze solver, upload image. Okay, here we have relatively simple, but okay, kind of a good maze. Let's click on solve. Let's see. And it really did. Yes, everything works perfectly. Pretty nice. So yeah, Gemini 3.0 is really something out of this world. It really beat everyone. And I really don't know what can we expect in additional iterations. This will be whole another level of Matrix in a couple of years. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.